Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is we are going to unbox uh, Grand Stream Outdoor Access Point. And you can see the box that this GWN 7664 ELR comes in. It is, it is a big box. And you can hear some parts rattling around in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this real quick. We're going to take a look at the specs. And then I am very quickly going to do a follow-up video where I'm going to mount this thing outside and get it tested. So what do you get in the box? First of all, uh, you get this access point. And this is a very nice sized access point. Uh, this is, like I said, the GWN 76 uh, 64 ELR and I'm looking on the back to see let's see um, if there was any other information about the PoE so it it is uh, five let's see well we'll find it on the data sheet all right so look at this thing it is massive you got your indicator light up here of course Wi-Fi 6 you flip it over You've got your serial number, your default password, all that stuff. You've got some mounting holes here. And then at the bottom, check that out, an SFP. And then over here is your uh, Ethernet for PoE. All right, what else comes in the box? And thanks to Grandstream for sending this thing out. This box is massive. Of course, you got all the, the things that it comes in, but you get all of your weatherproofing accessories right here. All of your plugs, your, your cable covers, O-rings, all that stuff. You get, as always, a copy of the GNU. All the instructions are in there. And then you get these mounts. What you're going to see, um, and there are actually um, two pieces to this, and then you get all the nuts and bolts, which I accidentally spilled out in the bottom of the box. Then you get a couple of big uh, hose clamps. Let's see if I can get. So I'm going to mount this outside, and. Uh, I'm actually going to use this, which is a speaker a speaker stand, because I'm not going to actually mount it on uh, when I when I leave it permanently. It'll be actually be inside of our garage. Um, so while I'm testing it, I'm going to put it outside for the next couple of weeks on this speaker stand, so that we can do some testing. Um, I've got some fun Wi-Fi videos that I want to. Uh, follow up on. Uh, I don't want to give too many ideas away, but I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's take a look at the spec sheet on this. So it is the GWN 7664ELR. By the way, uh, we'll be talking about Grandstream networking um, certifications here in the next few weeks as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So this is an 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 access point. It has IP67 level weatherproof capability, dual band 4x4 by 4 by 4 Mu MIMO, MIMO with OFDMA technology. And it says that it can do 6 gigabits of wireless throughput um, that supports 512 clients and an expanded 300 meter uh, coverage range. So, you know, this is a uh, uh, long range access point. It does, like every other Grandstream, well, I shouldn't say all Grandstream access points, but the majority of Grandstream access points includes a built-in controller where it can, uh, I believe, control up to 50 other access points. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. It can be managed by GWN.cloud or GWN Manager or Standalone, or if you've got a Grandstream, like a GCC series, or one of the routers, you can manage it that way as well. There's tons of options to manage your Grandstream uh, devices. 
as always with all of Grandstream's access points, all of them, they are optimized for things like voice, um, or you can optimize them for voice. So you've heard me say this before, whenever we do voice over Wi-Fi, we always use Grandstream access points. And also, you know, video is becoming more and more important as well. It does have the QoS, it can do mesh networkings, captive portals. So the Ethernet port on that is 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and the SFP port is 2.5 gig. So what else? So, you know, marketing, 6 gig aggregate wireless throughput. You're right. So that's your like your best case scenario, but with the overhead of Wi-Fi and things like that, you're not going to get that. Plus you only have 2.5 gigabit, you know, out and you, you probably can't, well, I, I shouldn't say that you can't bond, uh, with the other access points, a one and a 2.5 gig port. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can bond those together or not. I don't know. It'd be interesting, uh, to find out. So we'll have to play around with that when we do the setup video. It is four by four by four. 2.5 gig Ethernet port PoE Plus supports 512 concurrent connected devices, 300 meter range coverage, advanced QoS, eight internal antennas, and you get all of these different management options. So it says, let's see what else we're going to touch on here. Eight individual antennas. Of course, it works in the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. And note that not all frequency bands can be used in all regions. Depends where you're at in the world and the governing body. Uh, WPA, WPA2, WPA2 Enterprise, WPA3. Um, as far as your Wi-Fi security goes, WPA3 Enterprise. Let's see. And on the 2.4 and uh, the 5, it is, it is four radios, uh, four antennas on the 2.4 and four on the, the 5 gigahertz. And then right here, this is one of the things that we're going to test in the video under your coverage range. Coverage range may vary based on environment. So that's one of the things that we are going to test. Um, you can do 32 SSIDs per access point. That's 16 per radio. So that's a lot of SSIDs. If you think you need that many SSIDs, let's have a conversation. Um, you do, there is a reset button and then you can do wall mount or pole mounting uh, and the kits are included. Let's see what else. Everything else is pretty much the same as every other uh, Grandstream access point, except this thing is large and in charge and made for the uh, outdoor environments. So let me uh, have everything fall, but let me show you this one more time because in the next video, uh, we are gonna, like I said, mount this outside, do some testing. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's big. I don't have a banana for scale. And then there's your ports on the bottom. We'll take a closer look at those when we deploy this and get it mounted. Obviously, mounting is going to happen from these screws on the back. If you've got any questions about this before the next video, let me know down in the comments. I'm really excited. Thanks to Grandstream for sending this out. This, uh, it's nice to be able to have a device that's, that's uh, outdoor rated so that we can do some of that testing. And if you have specific tests that I can actually replicate uh, that you want to see how things react with Wi-Fi, let me know down in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, uh, Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also go over to community.willyhow.com and continue the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. Come back for part two of this video, which will happen this week. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.